This is every TV do viewers. Welcome to English News Broadcast with me, Bersa Betakhla. These are the major headlines for today. Farewell ceremony organized to the national cycling team. Praiseworthy health service provision reported in Gashbarka region. U.S. and its European allies pledge more military firepower for Ukraine. And hundreds evacuated after a fire broke in a town in South Korea's capital. On your local report, the Commission of Culture and Sports organized farewell ceremony on 19 January to the national cycling team to participate at the 60s round of Tour de Gabon Cycling Championship 2023 to be held from 23 to 29 January. Speaking at the occasion, Ambassador Zemede Tegle, Commissioner of Culture and Sports, said that Eritrea has won the Tour de Gabon Cycling Championship seven times and expressed his confidence that they will win for the eighth time. Ambassador Zemede also said that ethics is part of the competition and called on members of the national team to preserve the good name of Eritrea. Mr. Samsom Solomon, coach of the national team, on his part said that they have conducted adequate preparation for the competition in which big teams are expected to participate. The national team comprises Henok Murubrahan, Dawit Yamane, Efrem Gabrahiwat, Ahlilo Arafaina, Meron Toshome, and Mikhail Habtom. At the seven stages rest that covers 933.7 kilometers, 10 national teams as well as five continental and pro continental teams will, de- will be taking part. At a meeting organized on 17 and 18 January in Barantu, it was reported that as a result of substantial investment made on both in equipment and manpower, the medical facilities in the Gashbarka region are providing praiseworthy health service to the public. At the meeting, report was presented focusing on the activities implemented regarding control of communicable and non-communicable diseases, capacity improvement of health facilities, and community-based environmental sanitation activities, as well as introduction of new equipment to health facilities. Dr. Hayelom Kidane, head of the Ministry of Health branch in, Gajbar- in Gashbarka region, said that in 2022, delivery at health facilities has increased from 49.5% to 53.7%, vaccination coverage has reached 100%, and cervical cancer vaccination to 94.2%, indicating that the achievement registered in the health sector was the result of the commendable participation of the public and health professionals, Ambassador Mohammed Ali Hurui, governor of the region, said that due attention will be given to address shortcomings of health facilities and to conduct sustainable environmental sanitation activities. Speaking at the occasion, Ms. Amna Nur Hussein, Minister of Health, commended the strong participation of the public, administrations and other government institutions in the effort by the Ministry of Health to expand and to improve health service provision. On your last local report, Mr. Yasin Mohammed Noor, head of the National Union of Eritrean Youth and Students branch in Mansoura Subzone, indicated that commendable effort has been exerted to develop the overall capacity of the youth in the subzone. Mr. Yasin went on to say that the union branch, in cooperation with administrations and government organs, has been organizing vocational training programs and encouragement has been made to outstanding students. Mr. Marcos Grmatian, head of organization and political affairs at the National Union, of Eritrean Youth and Students branch in Gashbarka region called on the youth to take advantage of the training programs being organized and develop their skills. Mr. Marcos also said that strengthening organizational capacity of the youth is not to be left to the union only and called on all concerned institutions to increase participation and contribution in the efforts. And I'll be back with your international reports after the short break. Welcome back. 
The United States and some of its European allies have announced significant new arms donations to Ukraine, including armored vehicles and heavy weaponry, ahead of a crucial meeting on bolstering the country's defenses. The U.S. said its package of military support, which includes armored personnel carriers, air defense systems, and tens of thousands of rockets and artillery rounds, was worth some 2.5 million U.S. dollars. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said it was a significant new security assistance package to help Ukraine continue to defend itself against Russia's brutal war. The latest package brings U.S. military assistance for Ukraine to some $27.4 billion. Earlier, the United Kingdom, in a joint statement with defense ministers and representatives of nine European countries, said it would send 600 brimstone missiles to Kiev, while Denmark promised 19 French-made Caesar howitzer and Sweden its archer artillery system, a modern mobile howitzer which Ukraine has been requesting for months. On today's last report, hundreds of people had to be evacuated after a fire broke out in a shanty town in South Korea's capital Seoul. Roughly 60 homes are reported to have been destroyed. There have been no reports of deaths or injuries. South Korean media has described the area of closely packed makeshift homes as the capital's last remaining slum. It took more than 900 firefighters and several helicopters and about five hours to put out the blaze. South Korea's president called for all-out efforts to minimize the damage and mobilize all available firefighters and equipment, according to his spokeswoman. The president is currently in Switzerland for the World Economic Forum Summit at Davos. The exact cause of the blaze is still unknown, but the area has also been prone to fires and floods, with many homes built using cardboard and wood. According to Korea Times, Guyong Village has suffered at least 16 fires since 2009. You're still watching us on Airy TV, the viewers, and now recap of today's major headlines. Farewell ceremony organized to the national cycling team. Praiseworthy health service provision reported in Gashbaka region. U.S. and its European allies pledge more military firepower for Ukraine. And hundreds evacuated after a fire broke in a town in South Korea's capital. Dear viewers, thanks for watching and do stay for the remaining of our programs.